Hi guys, it's me again, Shannon, here to do my October favorite. A lot of things that I am enjoying for over the past month, so I'm gonna get right into it. I discovered, I was looking for something and I went into my daughter's room into her makeup bag and I found what I bought her for Christmas last year, which is a Too Faced, um, it's called the Enchanted Glamourland. And you open it up and there's like fairies and it's like a 3D effect, kind of like the Alice in Wonderland. You open it up, there's a blush and a bronzer, but the best thing, I've been really into purple and gold on my eyes over the past month. And I found this color right here. It's called Enchanted, exquisite maybe. It is the prettiest, exclusive, excuse me. It is the prettiest purple. That is what it looks like. It's got some glitter to it, um, but it is absolutely beautiful. That's what it looks like right there. And it's super blendable. I mean, you can see that it, how it blends. Um, this is fantastic. So I was really glad that I went into her makeup drawer. Hmm, I have better taste than I thought I did. And anyway, some more purples that I like. Sorry when I dip my hat or my head, my hat's going to fall. But it's, I know I've mentioned this before, it's a Too Faced pigment and it's in Violent Vengeance. It's a really pretty, I don't want to spill any of it. It's a really pretty, um light glittery dust and for the eye oh and here's a matte color purple haze this is completely matte um and beautiful beautiful color as well as the urban K decay i got this as a sample um it's called i'm not even going to pronounce it because i'll get it wrong but that is it right there fard something i don't know but it's glittery, purple, and it's just gorgeous. Um, and the eyeliner that I've been using, I got the Urban Decay. Um, they're the Glide On eyeshadows. And I put it already on. This is the purple one here. And on top of it, I bought the Urban Decay um, Glitter Liner in metal head. It is fantastic. This is what the two together look like on the eyes and I do have them on. Um, I've had it on for a while today but I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I just love the combination. I get so many compliments on it and the gold that I use, um, first of all, I really like the Too Faced eyeshadow insurance. I do like the Decay, Ur Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I do not like the packaging. I think that it is Manesque. It's a MAC painterly pot. And then I put on my gold MAC in um, Goldmine. Fantastic. It creates a great look. Um, and this is kind of a really cool pigment. It's called Pink Bronze. Um, it's from MAC, and I have used this as well with the purple, and it's just gorgeous. Um, another thing that I have to share with you is I was up at the mall and got my daughter's Halloween costume, and in the Halloween store, they had Ben Nye Cosmetics. And so I purchased two Ben Nye concealers, um, a white which I use on my cheekbones as highlighter and a brown for a contour. And what I do is I put them all on and then take my foundation and blend everything together. These were $4 a piece and <laughs> they're great. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on my updated face makeup routine, leave me a comment below and I will certainly do that and show you how I use them and how I incorporate that into my makeup and my makeup look. Another thing I have been loving is I like the Neutrogena Nighttime Balm for your lips. And I've been taking pigments that I have or old eyeshadows that I don't use. Um, 
and putting them into a jar and mixing them to make my own lip balm. And this is the color that it created. And it's so moisturizing. And this is what I prefer to wear unless I go out and then I'm looking for a more bolder look. But during the day, if I'm at home, um, I always have to have something on my lips because my lips get really dry and this has been perfect. Um, for my blush, I've been loving, and I was corrected on one of my videos by say, pronouncing this the wrong way, um, Lorac, 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 I don't know, I can't remember. Um, it's their Flaunt Baked um, Matte Satin Blush. This is my Holy Grail blush. If you are into pink like I am, you have to get this. It is so blendable, it's so pigmented, it's got a beautiful sheen, and I think um, a lot of Lorac products don't get mentioned enough, and I have been seeing them pop up on YouTube um, a little bit more lately, but it's a phenomenal product. Um, for my highlighter this month, I've been using the CoverGirl Champagne. I do have the Dior, the pink and the beige, and on the expensive spectrum, they are top-notch Holy Grail highlighters. If it's something that you can't afford, which I wish I had that money back now and I did this, but um, I really find this to be a fantastic highlighter. Um, on the other end of the spectrum are my Guerlain Meteorites, and I have these in 02, which is tint beige. And this is the best for an all-over glow a setting powder. It's phenomenal. It is on the expensive side, but I would say definitely worth it. Um, it's just, it creates just a fantastic glow. It really, really does. My brush is by Echo Tools. It's a powder like finishing brush. This is by far the nicest brush for the money ever. It is the softest, nicest. Oh, I could just all day. It's fantastic. And if you're looking for a good, it's not um, real dense and it it is pretty, you know, flexible. It's it, it does have a lot of give to it. But if you're looking for just something to finish your makeup off, blend all of it together, just for a finishing touch, please give this a try. These Echo Tools are phenomenal, especially this one. Um, for scents, um, now that it's fall, I'm going for my Michael Kors. This is my favorite scent. I have the lotion that goes with it. And um, it's like... A hard fruit punch kind of smell but it's not fruity I don't know if that makes sense but I love Michael Kors I have the um, Hollywood one um, really really like it um, sticking with scents I picked up this Sula or Sula I believe it's pronounced Sula um, they're rollerball oils and they're they can be used on your neck, your decollete, your elbow, wrist, back of knee, ankles. Those are your um, spots that create a lot of heat. Anyway, there's six different scents. They're all fantastic. One I gave to my sister. It was the patchouli because I'm not a patchouli fan. I'm not a real musky type person. Um, talk about musky. I have been using the La Vanilla um, Laboratories deodorant, and recently I discovered my Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Cream deodorant, and I have been sticking to that. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And that is all of my October favorites. Um, one thing, I am going to do one of my favorites and all-time favorites is I used to have my eyebrows dyed because I have very fair eyebrows. And for the last, I don't know, six years I've been doing it myself. And so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I dye my eyebrows. But if you have any questions or comments or want to see any other tutorials on how I do my eye um, shadow with the purple and the gold, just leave a comment below and I will do a tutorial. Happy Thanksgiving this month. I'm sure I will talk to you before then, but ciao!